hello everyone. In this lesson, I'm going to explain the potentiometer calculations. But in these calculations are based on the applications of the potentiometer wire that I explained in lesson two. That's why I have referred to them as part one. Uh, but before we get into those calculations, we need to review the principle of the potentiometer wire. I told you that if a driver cell is connected to the potentiometer wire, it maintains a steady current through that wire. Since the wire AB has uniform resistance, it has a constant resistance per centimeter. And when the current, is, the current flows through it, the PD per centimeter of the wire is constant. Now, the PD increases from point A up to point D. So the PD from A to D is directly proportional to the balance length. Now, when a circuit is connected to the lower part of the potentiometer wire, at some point, the galvanometer shows no deflection. It means that there is no current flowing through the galvanometer, and therefore, the PD between XY is equal to the PD on the potentiometer wire. So basically, that is the principle that will help us in the calculations. Now, this is our first example. A driver cell of EMF3V and internal resistance 1 ohm is connected to a potentiometer wire of uniform resistance and of length 1 meter. Calculate the balance length if a 2V cell is balanced on the wire. On your left hand side, you can see a diagram summarizing the information that I have just read. We have a, a driver cell of 3V volts and internal resistance 1 ohm. There is a wire AB whose resistance is 4 ohms. And then a 2V battery which is connected to the lower circuit. Now, in order to get the balance length L, we need to first calculate the current that is produced by the driver cell. We use the formula E electromotive force is equal to car current into external resistance plus internal resistance. So substituting all those values, all the quantities, the known quantities, we can get the current I as being equal to 3 out of 5 amps. The resistance per centimeter of the wire is 4 out of 100. Since the whole wire has a resistance of 4 ohms and the wire is 100 centimeters long, then the resistance for each centimeter of that wire is 4 divided by 100. Now, in order to calculate the PD per centimeter, we multiply the current by the resistance per centimeter. We know that V is equal to IR. Uh, basically, that uses the formula V equal to IR, but this time the R is the resistance for one centimeter. So multiplying current by resistance per centimeter, we get the PD per centimeter. Now, at balance point, the PD from point A to D is equal to the EMF of the two volt cell. Now, the PD from A to D is equal to the PD per centimeter times the balance length. That balance length is unknown, uh, labeled L. So, it, we said two, 12 divided by 500 times L is equal to 2. So, from there, we can calculate that the length L is 83.3 centimeters. Let's look at another example. In the circuit shown on the next slide, AB is a uniform wire of length 1 meter and resistance 4 ohms. X is an accumulator of EMF2V and negligible internal resistance. Y is a cell of EMF1.5V. Find the balance length AD when the switch is open. 2. If the balance length is 75 centimeters, when the switch is closed, find the internal resistance. So we need to first of all represent this information in on a diagram. The circuit diagram is this one you see on your screen. We have 
a 2V driver cell, there's another resistor of 1 ohm next to it, and then the slide wire potentiometer, whose resistance is also 4 ohms, as in the first example. Then the lower circuit has another cell and another resistor and a switch. Now, with the switch open, we find the balance point, and then we're going to find the balance point when the switch is also closed. In order to get the balance length when that switch is open, we calculate the current produced by the driver cell. As in the first example, we use the same formula, E is equal to I into capital R plus small r. Small r represents internal resistance of the cell, capital R represents the total external resistance in the circuit. So substituting for those values, since we don't have, um, we substitute, substituting for those quantities, 4 plus 1 for the values of R and small r, we get the current as 2 out of 5 amps. The resistance per centimeter is 4 out of 100, as I explained in the previous example. Then the PD per centimeter is the current times resistance per centimeter. So 2 out of 5 times 4 out of 100 is equal to 8 out of 500. There is no need of simplifying the equation, uh, we, the, the, the expression, the fraction. We will do that at a later stage. Step 3 is now to calculate the PD from point A up to point D. Since we know we have found the value of K, the PD per centimeter, multiplied by the balance length L, then we get the PD from A to D. So L is the unknown value. But then we, compare, we equate that to, we equate that to the EMF of cell Y. So 1.5 is equal to 8 out of 100 L, and that gives us a length L of 93.75 centimeters. So that is how you get the balance length. Now let us look at part two, when the switch K is closed. When that switch is closed, the difference is that the two ohm resistor will now be in the circuit, and there will be a current which will be produced by the 1.5 V cell. And that current will only flow through the lower circuit at balance. It will not cross over to point A, neither will it pass through the galvanometer. It will only remain in that lower circuit. So we need to calculate the current that goes through that lower circuit first, and then we go ahead and see. So from this calculation of the lower circuit, we are able to get the current as 1.5 over 2 plus R. And then, multiplying that by 2, we get the PD across the 2 ohm resistor. So the PD across the 2 ohm resistor will be equal to the current times the resistance. That gives us 3 over 2 plus R. Remember, we would like to get the value of R. Now, when the galvanometer shows no deflection, the PD across the 2 ohm resistor is equal to the PD from point A to point D. And since the balance length is given as 75 centimeters in part two of this question, we therefore say the PD from A to D is five, eight out of 500 times 75, which gives 1.2 V volts. 1.2 V uh, volts, 1.2 volts. So com equating 1.2 to three out of 3.2 gives us uh, 0.5 ohms. That is now, therefore, the internal resistance of the cell. Thank you very much for listening to me um, in this lesson. See you in lesson four.